I am now in Bologna. I've hired a car, I'm at the airport still. I'm about to get on the road. Well, I've made the 90 minute drive down south of Bologna. I'm in Rimini now, there's the forecast, three degrees. Unfortunately though, it's gonna be raining all afternoon. So Rimini is a seaside town here in Italy. But you know what, there's advantages to rainy days at the beach and that is that nobody else is here. It's really quiet, the roads are pretty much empty. The beach definitely is empty. So I'm going to put my waterproofs on and I think I'm gonna take a walk along the promenade. There's also an old town here in Rimini which is about 20 minutes walk back inland. So waterproofs on and let's go and have a look around. Beautiful day out here. Perfect day to go to the beach. Before we do that, check out the car. Look at this, I got a free upgrade. It's a VW Beetle, 1.3 petrol. Rides like a dream. The rain seems to be getting heavier. The sea looks incredibly rough. So I've just walked as far as I can go. It's a nice little area, I bet this would be beautiful in the summer. There's a bit of rain on the lens. Sea is coming in quite hard now. I'd hate to see it when it's a proper storm. Has the feel of a kind of abandoned beach town. I suppose it is abandoned for a few months. Everywhere's locked up and shut down but it will open again in a few months time, I'm sure. I suppose when you get to April, May, it's gonna get hot and all the tourists will come back, but for the time being, it's all closed down. Well, I thought for a second I was the only person on Rimini Beach. We've got a hardcore cyclist here as well. Though technically he's just leaving the beach now so that leaves just me. Sand is really nice as well. No stones, a few seashells. I think it's time to walk a little further along the beach, make a plan for heading into the old town. So I'm now entering the historic district. This is the old Roman city of Rimini. Complete with some kind of amphitheater in the middle. Just behind that, there is a building where they are excavating something even today, not a very good view inside. Apparently it's something called the Surgeon's House because they found over 150 different types of medical instruments inside the building, buried. So this is the original amphitheater of Rimini. It was built here around about 1700 years ago. I've arrived at Piazza Cava, the main town square and forum in Rimini. See this look, uh, looks like a very old forum building right there. Nice little square, I think that's a town hall there. A restaurant. back to the statue and fountain. Time to head back to the car I think and dry out. 
maybe get some food. Well, I'm back at the car. I've got the heater on full blast at the moment, trying to dry all my coats and hats. But I'm about to head now, believe it or not, out of Italy for a couple of days and to another one of Europe's micro states. It's gonna take me about 45 to 50 minutes to get there. So I'm going to get the sat nav out, see if I can get there without getting lost. day. So just to recap, I flew into Bologna this morning from London Stansted. It was a good flight, an hour 50, and hired a car out at Bologna Airport. I got on the road as soon as I got the car hired out, went down to Rimini, had a look around the historic district and the beach area. It's quite a nice place, but the weather was terrible. It was raining all the time. And then I left Italy and I headed to a new country, a country I'd never been to before. It's a little micro state called San Marino. It has been quite a challenge to get here. And uh, I've lost a car in the effort. It all started off pretty nicely. I left Rimini uh, about seven o'clock and I was hoping to get to San Marino here at the hotel for about eight. As I was driving up, I kind of started figuring out that the rain that was coming down really heavy was starting to turn to snow because I was getting higher and higher up the mountain. Before long, there was snow covering the roads and everything in, in my sight. I ended up getting stuck on a hill. I spent about an hour trying to dig myself out and I was kind of getting there. And then the police stopped and they were really helpful and good. They tried to help me put my snow chains on, but uh, they couldn't get it on. They, they figured that the snow chains were too small for the tires on the car that I had, which is quite surprising really, because the snow chains come with the car. But anyhow, um, once the police figured out that they couldn't really get me going in any uh, meaningful sense. They uh, helped me reverse down the road a little bit and then we pulled into a side road and I stuck it up onto a grass verge where it was out of the way of all the oncoming traffic. Trouble is it's just as stuck there as it was on the dual carriageway that I originally got stuck on. I decided from there I was about three kilometers two miles from the center of San Marino and the hotel so I decided I'm just gonna throw everything in a, a case I've left my number and email address on the windscreen and I hiked it all the way up. I mean, it's, it wasn't just a three kilometre walk, it was all the way uphill and I couldn't believe how heavy the snow was coming down. In some places there was a foot of snow. I finally got to the hotel, it took me about an hour and a quarter, an hour and a half to walk up. So the time's now 11 o'clock. I checked in, the guy at the hotel said that another guest uh, had the same problem. They've left their car down the bottom of the hill as well. If I go back to him tomorrow, he's gonna try and help me figure out how I can get the car out. So I'll probably have to pay for a pickup truck to come and pick it up and then take it to the bottom of the, the hill and hopefully I'll be away again. Might cost a bit of money, but that's, uh, that's just something that you gotta take, I guess. But I'm here, that's the main thing. I'm here, I'm safe and sound 
and uh, I can now get a good night's sleep in San Marino. So anyway, last shot of the evening is from outside the hotel room window. <laughs>